Hey team, today I'm going to explain to you what's open graph tags and how you can add them to your site. I'm Colby Fayok. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about developer tech, make sure you subscribe using the link below. If you're not familiar with open graph, it's an internet protocol that's used to provide rich experiences and social networks using metadata on a web page. It was originally created by Facebook to provide a way to standardize this format across the web. So why do you need it? Well, you don't. But if you're not a fan of how your links look like this and would prefer them to look like this, you're going to want to add them to your page. This will help your content stand out on what's already a crowded social feed like Twitter or Facebook. So let's dive in. The four basic open graph tags are title, type, image, and URL. The title will be the title of your page. It's usually the same thing as the title tag. Next, you have the type of your page. For most websites, it's probably just website, but this can be other things like article or video. To get that big image in your feed, you'll want to add your image tag. This will be the URL to the actual image. And finally, the URL tag, which will be the URL of your current page. The meta tags follow the property and content pattern like similar other meta tags. They'll ultimately go in the head of your HTML along with the other metadata. So if I were to put these tags together for the basic for my website, it would look like this. One thing to keep in mind is these tags might be unique for each page. You want each set of tags to represent the content on that specific page. So if I had tags on the homepage of my blog, the type tag might be website. But if I had tags on the blog post page, the type might be article. So once we have the basics down, there is a couple other tags that we might want to keep an eye out for. The description tag might look similar to what your meta description looks like. The locale tag is what's used to define your language and territory for that set of tags. The site name, which would be the actual website name. So for instance, with my website, the name is Colby Fayok, but the page title for my blog post would be the blog post name. The video tag will function similar to your image tag, but for video content, so it'll be a URL. Now, after you have all those tags down, you want to also keep in mind that some of the social networks have their own specific tags. For instance, Twitter has one called Card, which is used to define what kind of display you want to show in their feed. To get the big image, for instance, you would want to use the summary large image tag. And finally, once you have the tags on your page, you'll want to use the Twitter and Facebook validators to make sure your tags are looking right and if not, they'll show you errors as to what you did wrong. To dig in further, make sure you check out the Open Graph documentation. They have a list of all the different properties available so you can make sure your tags are showing right on your site. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching.